John yelled, who the F were you with the other night? I looked down at the card that was lying next to me. And it read, the other night was amazing. We must do it again. According to the document, when she tried to explain Combs threw the flowers at her and said, that's not how this works. You have my child. You don't touch anyone unless I allow it. She wrote, Diddy picked up my coffee mug and slammed it against the wall. Coffee flew everywhere as he yelled, who the F this in think he is? I'm going to get you right now. 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 The Witch Doctor. Diddy's late ex-girlfriend Kim Porter detailed the alleged abuse she suffered at the hands of the disgraced producer who fathered three of her children in a never-before-seen memoir. The source, who wished to remain anonymous, provided the document to RadarOnline.com and said it was found on Porter's long-lost flash drive. It was given to the informant by someone very close to Kim and Diddy and was written in the months leading up to her sudden death, the individual claimed. While we have unable to independently verify those claims, the 40-page manuscript which we have reviewed is filled with explosive anecdotes about the actress and model's time with the rapper, born Sean John Combs. In one chapter, Porter wrote about how the jealous rapper's short fuse made her walk on eggshells and recalled one instance where he allegedly sent her to the hospital after brutally beating her with a chair. Porter was 47 years old when she died in her home in Los Angeles shortly before midnight on November 15, 2018. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner listed her manner of death as natural and the cause as lobar pneumonia, a condition marked by inflammation and infection in the lungs. But unanswered questions surrounding her death have resurfaced as allegations of violent behavior stack up against Diddy, including by another one of his exes, Cassie Ventura, alongside a federal sex trafficking investigation. Users on social media have even suggested Porter's death may have been a move intended to prevent the release of the memoir she never finished, in which our source says she discussed Diddy's alleged involvement in the murder of Tupac Shakur. For his part, Combs addressed the Tupac conspiracy theory in 2008. In an interview with AllHipHop.com, he said this story is beyond ridiculous and completely false. Neither Biggie nor I had any knowledge of any attack before, during, or after it happened. It is a complete lie to suggest that there was any involvement by Biggie or myself. There have never been any criminal charges, indictments, or convictions against Combs related to the claims. Porter's father told Rolling Stone he was disgusted by a hotel surveillance video from 2016 obtained by CNN that showed the 54-year-old kicking and dragging Ventura. He said it made him wonder whether his daughter suffered similar abuse during her 13-year relationship with the music mogul. What's more, former bad boy rapper Mark Curry told the outlet of Porter's relationship with Diddy, I remember Kim used to go through a lot of stuff. If you live around them, you get to see the toxic relationship dot dot dot. I think every relationship he had that I experienced around him was like that. Porter described the exchange that led to her hospital visit in the purported memoir obtained by RadarOnline.com, writing, we were supposed to go out for dinner, but he was in a foul mood. Sean yelled, what the F I would have to walk on eggshells as I came out of the bathroom? But I found him holding flowers, so I smiled. You brought me flowers, Sean yelled, no. So who the F are they from? I was bewildered and told him, honestly, I don't know. Probably just a fan. He threw the attached card at me. I picked it up to read it. Sean, I, he slapped me so hard I hit the ground. Sean yelled, who the F were you with the other night? I looked down at the card that was lying next to me. And it read, the other night was amazing. We must do it again. According to the document, when she tried to explain Combs threw the flowers at her and said, that's not how this works. You have my child. You don't touch anyone unless I allow it. She wrote, Diddy picked up my coffee mug and slammed it against the wall. Coffee flew everywhere as he yelled, who the F this in think he is? While desperately trying to calm him down, Porter insisted it was just coffee with the producer. It was nothing she explained they met up to discuss maybe me starring in another movie that he wants to produce. Sean exploded even more. He wants to put the move on my effing family at the top of his lungs. My effing family, he family, he flipped the table over, breaking it. It was a heavy table, but Sean is stronger than he looks. 
I pleaded with him, Sean, please, he yelled at me. What I tried my best to calm him down. He probably didn't know. It didn't come up. You're publicly dating someone else. So he screamed at me, and it somehow seemed even more intense. So you didn't tell him back off. And then, out of nowhere, he hit me with a chair. I don't remember anything after that until I woke up in a hospital room. According to the document, Porter said when she woke up in the hospital, my arm was in a cast hanging from a sling. My face hurt. My eyebrow was in immense pain, as was my lip. As I came to, the first face I saw was of the man that put me here. Sean asked with concern in his voice, how are you feeling? I responded, stay away from me. Writing in the supposed manuscript, she said, Diddy apologized and told her, I don't know what came over me, but she was afraid for her safety because they were in a private hospital room and no one would hear me. I could scream like my life depended on it, but it wouldn't matter. As she lay in the hospital bed, the musician allegedly said I was just so jealous. You know how I am dot 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 dot. I'm sorry, baby. I promise I'll never put my hands on you again. I swear. She recalled thinking I've heard this song one too many times. Porter then wrote she was concerned Diddy might lie and say she had a car accident, claiming he told her they'll pity you that you hit your head. He was going to make me look crazy. They were going to believe him. He was a kingpin. Yet she said Combs spent the next six months helping me heal and working his way back into my life and into my bed. I was so dead stupid, and of course I wasn't cast for either movie. From what I understand, the producer died of pneumonia. It was unclear when the alleged incident occurred, but Porter noted that Combs was publicly dating someone else at the time. The pair met when she was working at his label, Uptown Records, and they began dating in 1994. They went on to have three children together, 26-year-old rapper Christian Casey Combs, a.k.a. King Combs, and 17-year-old twin daughters D. Isla Starr and Jesse James Combs. The supposed encounter reference would have likely occurred sometime between Christian's birth in 1998 and the twins' birth in 2006, as Porter noted in the memoir that Christian was with the nanny at the time and wrote about delivering her twins in the next chapter. The Witch Doctor. Oh.